For the past decade, Campbell has been on a journey to build the world's most extraordinary food company by nourishing people's lives everywhere, every day. We've learned that celebrating diversity and inclusion is an integral part of this journey, and we therefore see it as a strategic priority. As our success model outlines, the foundational step in our journey is to win in the workplace by fully engaging all of our employees in our mission. We strive to be a place where people from all walks of life can achieve their highest potential and are inspired to do so with extraordinary passion. We want to offer a culture of inclusion, respect, and fairness so the best people will bring their unique knowledge, skills, and worldviews to us and to our consumers. We found that if we have the right team, our people will enable us to win in the marketplace by meeting the needs of our consumers faster, better, more completely, and more uniquely than anyone else. In our global marketplace, our consumers are increasingly diverse and are interested in diversity themselves, particularly when it comes to new foods and flavors. Our workplace needs to reflect the diversity around us in every way, shape, and form so that we can deliver products that resonate with our consumers. As we do this, our success in the marketplace will give us the responsibility and the capacity to win in the community and help make our world a better place. Our diversity helps us do the greatest good by making us more sensitive to the needs around us and sensitive to the ways in which we can help. When I arrived at Campbell in 2001, I made 10 personal commitments to every employee and they are still on my desk today. Number one is this, treat all associates with respect and dignity. The following year, we asked Catalyst, the world's leading organization promoting the advancement of women in the workplace, to review our culture. They told us that our employees felt that Campbell's commitment to diversity and inclusion was weak, and they challenged us to do better. Since then, we've made substantial progress as recognized by Catalyst and other external organizations. In 2005, we created an Office of Diversity and Inclusion, headed by a C-level executive. We also launched our first affinity networks, the Women of Campbell and the Campbell African American Network, to build community and to listen to our employees. Since then, we have expanded to eight very healthy and vibrant affinity networks. We've engaged senior managers to help guide our efforts through our Global Diversity and Inclusion Council. We've integrated responsibility and accountability for diversity and inclusion into our performance review system, particularly for our leaders. Our commitment to diversity and inclusion is now embedded in Campbell's seven core strategies, and it's reflected across our cultural tapestry those documents that help define who we are and who we hope to become. As we have continued to move towards this vision, we have naturally focused some of our energies on the needs of specific groups, such as women, people of color, or members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. But it is important to remember that our overall goal is to create a better, fairer, more inclusive, more successful culture for all of our employees. Every time we remove barriers and increase opportunities for some, we take another step on this important journey for all. We are well aware that we have much more to do. Building a diverse, inclusive culture is a long-term, arguably never-ending journey. But we are committed to making progress each and every day.